Hi, Dawn with Feng Shui by Dawn here. How are you? I am your Feng Shui master, here to teach you how to balance your environment for optimal health, wealth, and success. Did you know that your birthday directly affects your Feng Shui? The Chinese figured out many, many years ago that your date of birth tells us what element you are in feng shui. So remember this sheet of elements, fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. So based on your date of birth, you are one of these elements. And today I'm gonna to talk about fire and what, what is a fire element person in feng shui. So this is East, Eastern feng shui. It's based on your date of birth. It's called Eight Mansions Feng Shui. And there is also what is known as Advanced Eight Mansions Feng Shui. So I will put the link in the um, title so that if you wanna find out if you are a fire element person, you just input your date of birth and it will let you know which element you are. So today talking about a fire element person. What are some of the characteristics of a fire element person? Well, they snap, crackle, and pop. Fire element people are very energetic. They're very intellectual. And if you think of a fire, so a fire starts, it grows, it grows, it grows, and then it, it fades out, right? So that is very similar to what I see with all of my fire element customers. They, they go and they go and they go until they're exhausted and then they just have to relax, just like a fire, right? Um, so that is one of the characteristics of a fire person. They're very passionate about what they like and what they don't like. You will always know, especially if they're in balance. If they're in balance, they will tell you exactly what they like and what they don't like. Let me see, what else can I tell you about a fire person? Well, their lucky number is the number nine. And the directions for fire element people. So fire element people are what is known as East group people in feng shui. And the fire elements the, the best direction for a fire element person is south. South in feng shui is fire. So that is one of their power directions. The other three power directions for a fire person is east, southeast, and north. So do you see this color top I'm wearing today? It's kind of like a rose color. This is a fire element color, okay? And fire element people, when they need more energy, maybe when they're low on energy, they should wear something that is the shade of a tree in any season. So what does that mean? Any color green, any color orange, like think of the leaves when they're changing color. Orange, uh, red, um, brown, just think of a tree. Any color of the tree in any season is a color that a fire person should wear to enhance their energy. If that person is fire and they need to reduce their energy, they should wear off-white, tan, beige, pale yellow. These, these colors will help calm the energy of a fire element person. So what are some of the symbols of a fire element? Some of the symbols are things that are pointy, like a sundial, diamonds, um, triangles, rose bushes with thorns, right? Because thorns are pointy. These are all fire element shapes. The season that most 
uh, fire element people enjoy is midsummer, which kind of makes sense, right? Because fire is warm, summer is warm. Um, so that is the season. Uh, fire element people are very extrovert-ish until they just fade out because they've just given so much and then they just need to rest and recover. So I hope this has taught you something new about feng shui that you didn't know. If you have questions, let me know and I hope that you'll like and subscribe to my page.